Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I welcome you all to this video. We are with the second topic from 14th chapter of microwave engineering where the monolithic microwave integrated circuits, the chapter we are addressing so far. In the previous video, we have been introduced to this particular technology in comparison to the conventional electronic circuitry and the simple integrated circuits. We have also addressed the corresponding the high packaging density of ICs as compared to that of the monolithic microwave integrated circuits. So let us address the types of the materials that are being used in this particular technology for microwave frequency signal to be operated. So let us see the details. So here we start with the topic for materials of monolithic microwave integrated circuit. So I hope the monolithic microwave integrated circuit, what it is, is very clear from the previous video. Now, the different kinds of the materials that are involved in the fabrication of these devices to be used at the microwave frequency signal are listed as we have the substrate materials. We have the conductor materials. We have the dielectric films. And the resistive films. So for the substrate materials, that is of very prime importance here, we have the choices to work with alumina. We can go for the selection of beryllia. We can also work with the ferrite materials or garnet it is. We can also go for gallium arsenide. The glass material can also be one of the choice. The rutile material and the sapphire material we have. Now for the second one, we have the conductor materials also required to have the monolithic microwave integrated circuits produced here. So the choices are aluminium. We can go for the copper also. We can go for the gold material and the silver material here. In the third type, we also require the dielectric films to be generated. So for dielectric films to be generated, we get Al2O3, SiO, SiO2, Si3N4 and TA2O5 materials whereas for the four type of the materials which are the resistive films here we have the options to work with CR, CRSIO, we have NICR compound next to that we can work with the TA and TI here. So one by one let us have the discussion on to the materials for substrate, conductive, dielectric and the resistive types here. Now the characteristics for the substrate materials can be given. So for the characteristics of substrate materials, the very first point can be made that they have the dielectric constant of very high values. Next to that, the dissipation factor or the loss tangent that generally represented by Tandil is of the very low order. By the third point, we have the dielectric constant epsilon r remaining constant with respect to the changes into the frequency here. So it is frequency independent here. Next point, 
the purity of the material is very very high so i mentioned high purity also we have the constant type of the thickness the smoothness of the surface is also very good here we have the resistivity value at the high so the resistivity can also be represented by rho and the dielectric strength is also good here and we have the high thermal conductivity the second type of the materials we have seen to be the conductor materials the various material choices for the conductive type we have just now listed out for the conductor type of the materials we require here the value of conductivity denoted by sigma should be at the high levels the temperature coefficient corresponding to the resistance should be at the low value here so temperature coefficient here next to that there should be the good quality of adhesion to the substrate here and along with this good adhesion it should also have the good etchability which is required while having the fabrication done also the solderability should also be at the good values here and lastly it should be able to have the easy deposition and electroplated here now we have the third type of the material to be the dielectric material here for the dielectric material the characteristics can be in terms of or the properties can be in terms of we have reproducibility so whatever the choices for to be worked as dielectric materials we have listed they all have the good value of the good quality of good property of reproducibility now at the high voltages the withstanding capacity of the materials is also good here now while undergoing the development process the pin holes so the ability is also good with the dielectric materials and they also offer the rf dielectric loss with the low values here and at last we have the fourth type of the materials that we have listed out these are nothing but the resistive materials for the resistive materials there should be the good stability we also require the resistive materials to be of the low temperature coefficient or the resistance so the temperature coefficient corresponding to the resistance tcr if abbreviated that should be at the low values here whereas the resistive material are also required to have the adequate dissipation capacity and at last we can say that the sheet resistivities denoted by rho sub x s are to be in the range of 10 to we can have 1000 ohms per square so these are the various properties and the details of the choices with respect to the selection of various kinds of the materials whether it may be the conductive dielectric resistive so to be used for the monolithic microwave integrated circuit fabrication here so by the next lecture we shall be addressing the growth with respect to the monolithic microwave integrated circuits and we shall be continuing into the same chapter chapter 14 here 
So for more such information and the details of microwave engineering, you can subscribe to Ikeda channel. Thank you.